everybody, um, I don't have my tripod on me currently, but it's a short review, so it shouldn't be too bad. And on my snowman bed. With the Aldi, a different Aldi, it wasn't too far away, so I went. And I found the Giga Notosaurus. This is for the thumbnail. Alrighty. Um, now I have completed this entire wave. I'll show you that here in a minute. You style the box with the nice image of the toy you're getting. Here's the back of the box. It's got the Jurassic World Dominions. Got the mountains. It's got Therizinosaurus blue and the Giga. All this bullshit. There's the barcode for those who, who want it. And another side of the box. Um, got the helicopter and the, the same logo. Um, I already opened it, but it's going to be easy to open. So let's get right into it, shall we? Opening things in one hand is a very, very difficult thing to do. You open the box. There's the inside of the box. Put it all down. Sorry to hear my dog. He's coughing up his lungs. I try, I don't know why, but this is going. I'm trying to open up the box without you know rip, ripping it because everyone does that. You gotta open the box from the side to get the thing. And then this is doesn't really come off. Yeah, scissors, anything can come off. Alright, I got the thing done. I'm gonna put that up. Little slice of piece. Alright, here's the Giganotosaurus. Six inch basic figures. Now go to Aldi for these. Meyer will not sell these to you at all. These are found in the Easter goods. The sculpt is really good. The paint is for a four dollar. I paid like four bucks for this. So you really can't expect the whole lot for four dollars. Like for instance, non painted teeth. You've got some scalature work on the head there. Got the snake eye, got the dark brown. The teeth are there. I mean, if you want to paint the teeth, go for it. It's your toy. But I'm just going to leave it as is. It's the other side of the toy. I think my eye is just a bit messed up. Then you're going to go down. Down the uh, scales. These scales are actually made of a soft, softer plastic. Got some of that brownish, black, gray, whatever, down to there. Scales go all the way down, and then stops at the tail. Um, the head doesn't move any any shape, way, or form. Arms do move. Of course, the the claws aren't painted, but that's okay for the basic figure. Um, you got some like. Red speckles all over the body. There's the feet. There's no scan code on these. It's too small for a scan code. But, um, the feet can move like that. One of the legs. Um,. The tail can spin like that. There really ain't much to talk about on the tail other than the nice scales that go all the way down the tail. Let's turn it around. Put arms down like that. Good look at it from the other side. It's also got some um, scratches, healed, like, oh crap. scratches like all over his leg. 
He's got some on us. He's got a few on his face. And there's one right here. I think there's more on the legs. There's some all they're all over the body. Well, there's no paint underneath, just a, a, a little bit of paint. But the the spikes are actually a different piece. But um, here's what it looks like in the little diorama that you get. <laughs> looks good. Kind of have them up like that, about the roar. He, he's, he's looking out. Yeah, that's it for this review. Hope you all enjoyed. Oh, wait. Okay, here they are next to the rest of the wave. I did the Xenosaurus yesterday. I did not do a review on Blue because I think... Because it's a re-release. But, um... Here's what they all look like. So I have a whole playlist of Jurassic World videos by yours truly. If you want to go check those out, you can definitely feel free to do so. I think my favorite is the Xenosaurus in my opinion, but that's just mine. I also like the, the Giga, and Blue don't look too bad. Hope you guys have a good rest of your evening, or day, or holiday, or whenever you're watching this. Peace. Oh, I forgot to turn it off.